Okay, today we're going to show you how to uh, replace and test a battery. Actually, uh, this is in the 05 Ultima, but with this will work in any vehicle. So uh, we're going to show you how to test it with the uh, multimeter and uh, signs you may have a bad battery. First of all, I was going to take my daughter to work this morning and uh, this is what I got. And this is a sure sign of a battery. So, obviously the battery's dead. And it could need a recharge, but here's a way to test to see if it does need a recharge. So I'm going to put this on the tripod and then we will be right back. Okay, we're back. And first thing you want to do is on your multimeter. This is a uh, ideal. Um, there's several different ones. Craftsman, uh, Fluke. Fluke probably makes the best one. I use an ideal. Use it for work. Put it on your uh, 20 uh, DC setting. And you want to actually test the battery with no load just to see, you know, it, it still could be. This is a sign that, to tell you whether it's uh, not really good or not, but just what voltage it's getting without load. And people can confuse this and say, oh, well, it's getting enough voltage, it's good. So put your black with black, which is negative, negative, positive with positive here, which is red and red. You can see, let me get this stuck on here, 12.32 volts. Well, that's not completely charged, but that's not really that bad of a reading. That's about half charge. Okay, and you think, well, battery's good. Not necessarily. You want to see what the reading is when you're actually cranking. And uh, we'll adjust this, and I'll give it a crank, and we'll show you what it reads. There, you saw that probably went down to, uh, what, 3 volts or so? Should not go down that low. I think about 10 is what you should uh, would see. Now, it's, it's slowly growing, going back up. Now, the thing with this is, the battery is taking a charge. But the cold cramp cranking amps are uh, what doesn't have enough, uh, enough of that to, to go around. So, chances are there's probably a bad cell. You can have a, one or two, you know, a couple bad cells, still get a 12 volt 12.5 volt rating but you won't have enough cold cranking amps in the battery to actually start your vehicle and chances are if you go and charge it it's not it, it you know it'll take the charge more than likely you'll be able to start your vehicle but it's not going to keep the charge overnight it's going to gradually die again so that is uh, that is one way to test your battery now this I know is pretty bad this battery so I'm gonna go ahead and replace that and first thing you need to do is disconnect your terminal. Take our meter off. And I, this actually has a bracket that goes over the top. I've already taken it off. Right here, it's just two uh, eight millimeter, 10 millimeter nuts. So I've taken that part off. And the terminals are 10 millimeter nuts, so take the positive or negative off first, doesn't matter. I usually do the positive. Be sure not to touch anything metal. You don't want to ground yourself. Ground yourself on something and get you a good shock. And screw it. There, positive's off. Your negative off. And once you've got that brace off, which I've already got off, simply lift it out of the vehicle. And there it is. There's the space you are left with. Not much in there. Turn the light on. There you go. There you have it. And we will come back to uh, put a new battery in, test it, uh, show you how to put it in, easy, test it, and then show you how to check your alternator as well. So stay tuned. Okay, here's the new battery. Um, purchased it from Advance. The old battery I actually had purchased from Advance as well. Um, the battery comes with a, a two-year 
Um, no money required replacement and it comes with a uh, 72 month prorated. So I didn't realize I had purchased the old one from there. They looked it up. Um, so I got a new battery for $37 instead of $89. So um, that was nice. And uh, they, they did a test there. Had only 140 some cranking amps. So the first thing I need to do with this particular vehicle is actually get this strap off. Um, a lot of them you can keep it on, but it sticks up a little high. So I'm just going to cut it off. There's tabs you can push in to, uh, to keep it on there, or to uh, not break it, rather. These little tabs here, but I don't feel like messing with that, and I'm not going to need the handles. So. There you go. Next step is to put it in the vehicle. And we'll move the tripod and do that. Okay, here we go. I'm going to simply set the battery in. It sits right in place. There is another cover. That goes over this, which probably would have been easier to put on before you set the battery in there, but it can slip out, so. There you go. The next piece to put on is your bracing. This has just got a little hook. This one end, we are going to put that down in the hole. You'll feel it catch. And there you go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this on, tighten it down, and then we'll come back. Okay, now that I've got that uh, nice and snug down, you're going to want to put on your negative terminal. Make sure it's good and clean. Already cleaned this one. Tighten it down. Make sure it's fully seated. Now you're going to do the top positive. You're going to take the cap off of it at first. Just pulls off. Make sure your positive terminal is nice and clean, which mine is. I'm going to tighten this down as well. Again, make sure you don't ground yourself out and electrocute yourself. Actually, it doesn't hurt that bad, so. There you go. Now the battery's in. Now, I'll show you what the meter readings read. Set up put on 20. Okay, 12.75. That is a fully charged battery. And we will get a reading with a start here. Provided that stays in place. Okay, and that's all there is to it. You've replaced your battery. Next video, I'll show you how to uh, determine whether your uh, alternator is bad. Um, thanks again for watching. Please feel free to comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks again.